Welcome back to another video. This one is on how to get XP fast. Since the whole scaling system has taken over the world of lore, it is a little bit trickier to get fast XP. Some of my previous guides no longer work because of this. A couple months ago, I did post a guide on how to get fast gold, and most of those methods still apply. I'll put a link to that video in the top right corner, so if you're looking how to get gold fast, that video will help you out. If you are interested in getting fast XP, then stick around because this video will be telling you what you need to know. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. First, I'd like to say a big thanks to the AE Federation and everybody in there who's helped me with my research. It is greatly appreciated. So the first place we're going to be going is to the Friday the 13th event. You can get there by talking to Dottie in Battleon. Now the XP and gold that you get from this area is going to vary based on your level. The current character I'm using right now is level 17, so the amount of XP that you see popping up on the screen is for around that level. The two people you want to focus on the most are the retired counselors and the spiders in this location because they give really good XP. Here's the XP that you're getting for people around level 12 and 13. And of course, in between farming, you can fight the Shrade and you'll be getting some XP from him as well. Here's the XP that you're getting at level 20 or 21. So this location is great when it comes to XP. The next location is in the Underworld. And the location you're going to want to go to is the Arena of Souls. In here, you're getting a pretty decent amount of XP, but you are also needing to be level 20 plus. If you're wondering why I'm not using my Gold Raven account, it's because he's already maxed in all of his XP in classes and everything. But if you're like level 29 or 27, you will be getting more XP than what I'm showing in this video. If you had seen my gold farming video then you would have seen I recommended running some daily quests and one of them would be in the daily boss fight. Because I'm level 30 the rewards are scaled to level 28 and this of course gives me really good XP and gold. On my level 13 account the rewards are scaled to level 11 so I'm only getting 300 gold and a thousand XP but that's still not too bad considering my level. If you're a lower level like this account then you might want to jump over to the Heartwood Forest. There are dungeons here that you can run and you can get some pretty good XP in these dungeons. Next we're going to jump back to Battleon. You're going to want to interact with the portal and go to Random Adventure. Here you're going to be fighting mobs and facing bosses and you can get some pretty good XP in here as well, not to mention you get some battle gems. If you go to the Shadow Skull Bridge and make your way into the Shadow Skull Tower, you will see in here some repeatable quests. Each one of these quests gives 1700 XP. That's pretty good considering that you're guaranteed to run into almost any one of these guys. You've also got a secret form. This is the chicken and gives you a lot of gold and a lot of XP, but he's extremely rare. This one is also repeatable and every time you finish the dungeon, if you've completed one of these, just grab them again and this one here you're going to be completing probably once every two dungeons or something so grab this as often as possible just for fun i wanted to test something so if you're doing the really early missions at level three you're going to be getting around 92 xp now of course this does not go towards your classes but just towards your xp and fighting the mobs in this area gives you around 13 XP and you're getting about 10 XP for your class. If you jump over to the Friday the 13th event, the mobs in this area of course are scaled to your level. As you can see, these guys do not give you very much XP. I found a method that gives you pretty good XP at a really low level. 
Now this harkens back to the day of alpha testing and early pre-beta testing. There were only a very few select maps back then and the best place to farm XP at pretty much any level was at the Shadow Skull Bridge. If you have never been there before, it is going to be locked and the only way you can get there is by running. So as you can see in this video, I am showing the direction that you can take to get to the Shadow Skull Bridge at any level. Now you can die pretty quickly, so it's recommended to have a pretty decent sized group farming with you. One individual mob does not give you a ton of XP, but it's the amount of mobs that are in this area, and if you can take them down quickly, the respawn is pretty quick, so you're constantly fighting and constantly gaining XP. This is probably the fastest, if not one of the fastest ways for a lower level to gain a mass amount of XP. Unless you're leveling a specific class, I recommend running Warrior because it has a very nice multi-hit. If you are leveling another class, I recommend getting your Warrior to rank 10 so that you can unlock the Seismic Slam. This gives you an AoE attack and will greatly improve your overall production. So even though this place does not seem like it would be a really good farm, it actually is a pretty darn good farm. Especially, like I said, if you're with a group of people, you'll be ranking up your classes in no time. For the set of the day, I'm going with this one. I thought it was really nice with the gold and the purple. Having the concept of the UFO beaming her down or beaming her up, I'm not sure, was a cool idea. Plus, of course, the pet also went with the set, which I really liked as well. So this one made it into the set of the day. And that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.